Hey, so welcome to this week's edition of Nonlinear Google Hangout. My name is Magdalena Chichanowska. I'm a director at Nonlinear Creations. Today we're covering the topic of how to choose a technology platform and whether to choose Sitecore, SharePoint, or a combination of the two. With us today, we have Glenn McInnes, Vice President of Technology at Nonlinear, and Tom Wilson, Solution Architect at Nonlinear. Welcome, Glenn and Tom. Thanks, Magda. Hello. If you can each start by describing your role with Nonlinear, and we'll give our audience an idea of your background and your experience. Glenn, would you like to start? Sure. So my role at Nonlinear is VP of Technology. So I'm responsible for helping our clients um, evaluate technology platforms and also implement different governance strategies for those platforms. I also then work with our teams in large-scale architectures. Tom? Uh, I am a SharePoint solution architect, and that involves going to our various clients and doing uh, business requirements, technical planning, implementation, uh, quality assurance, and deployment. Excellent. Well, um, Tom, maybe we'll, we'll begin with you. Can you tell us what are the relative strengths of SharePoint? Sure. Uh, I would say the biggest strength uh, that SharePoint has opposed to other systems is that it's a fully finished product out of the box. Now, I'm not saying that that product is necessarily amazing or can um, fit all of your requirements, but it is a, a nice starting point. So once the installation is done, you can uh, give users permission and you can have people in SharePoint uh, right after day one. Um, one of the other... Oh, sorry. Well, one of the other main benefits would be the integration with all of the Office products. So uh, if you want to open a document directly from your internet site inside Word, it's just a simple click of a button. Glenn, do you have anything to add? Sure, just to add on to what uh, the path Tom was going down, he talked about the integration framework. SharePoint's also just a general development platform that you can write applications on top. And when you look across kind of the, the partner ecosystem, you see a lot of add-on products for SharePoint. And I think that speaks to the strength of it as a development platform as well. Okay. All right, so maybe we can move on to uh, Sitecore. Uh, Tom, what would you say that Sitecore's strengths would be? Um, well, from my SharePoint perspective, I want to say that since it's a more open platform and you don't have to uh, work with the existing infrastructure, you have more flexibility as far as uh, wanting to implement custom solutions from the starting point. Um, besides that, I would say Sitecore more, uh, is tailored towards websites, whereas SharePoint's more of an internet product. So I would say Sitecore, in my perspective, really excels for the internet abroad. Um, yeah. Okay, Glenn, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, and I think there's a few other kind of nuances there. Of course, as Tom said, Sitecore is dedicated to web content management and more broadly digital marketing at this stage. So there's a, a host of features and modules that are designed to drive personalized experiences online on mobile channels, email campaigns, all of those features that are not necessarily native to SharePoint. So that's probably the, the biggest difference of Sitecore versus SharePoint is Sitecore is best in breed web content management and SharePoint's a, a more general application framework. Great. Um, I have another question. Um, what things should one consider when choosing uh, between SharePoint and Sitecore as a solution? Um, and I would like to take it from a perspective of what are you considering as a developer, and what should you consider as a user? And maybe Glenn can start with you. Sure. I think from a development perspective, the, the two platforms are actually very similar. Um, they're both .NET based. Any development that you do on them is based on that platform. And at their underlying layer, they're really meant to store content that you can access through an API. They're, they're very, very similar. So from a development perspective, it often comes down to um, the skill set you have, which platform do you know um, more? Are you more comfortable with? Um, and then to the second piece is there may be inherent features or APIs in the platform that would suit itself to um, particular use cases. 
So again, web content management tends to be Sitecore. Um, if you want to do heavy document management or you want to leverage the really powerful search that's part of SharePoint, then maybe you lean towards SharePoint. But it tends to be the one you're more familiar with drives that decision. Excellent. Um, and Tom, you spend a lot of your time on client sites, uh, so you, you understand uh, the business objectives of clients. Uh, from your perspective and the clients you have worked with, uh, how do what they go about uh, choosing the right platform for them? Um, I, I think when it comes to SharePoint, um, a lot of the time our clients will have an affinity towards the Office suite of products. So they may already be licensing uh, Outlook, uh, the Exchange services, um, maybe Office 365. And um, to them, a uh, purchase of SharePoint is not uh, that much of a uh, mountain or I want to say uh, it doesn't have a, a higher uh, entry than something like Sitecore, which would be a whole different product that might seem somewhat foreign to them. They're very comfortable when they stay within the Microsoft stack. Great. Um, are there any other tips you, any of you can offer when, uh, for someone who is choosing between SharePoint or Sitecore? I think the, the first one is to have a real bake-off. Uh, it's great to read the manuals and look at the brochures and all of those things, but the only way you'll ever know from a user or development perspective is to get your hands a bit dirty. So if you are trying to choose between the platforms, uh, a POC is always a, a good move. Um, and then it may... Sorry? POC is in proof of concept. Yes, a proof of concept. And then the other piece is it may not be an either or. Um, many of our clients actually deploy both platforms to... Uh, integrate them to create a, a larger solution uh, using the best out of both um, both systems. So that, that's an option as well. Interesting. Tom, do you have anything to add to that? Any tips? Um, I, I think when you're trying to pick your platform, um, you're, you're usually going to pick what you're most comfortable with. So I, I would try and um, like Glenn said, the POC approach, but also explore the other platforms so you can really understand what where your current platform or your current choice is falling short or where uh, maybe you could improve. So I, I think it's important to understand and have uh, both scenarios so that you know that your current choice is a well-educated one. And how do people usually go about, um, I guess, uh, doing the bake-off or how to uh, play around with different platforms, how do they get access to those? Um, for, sh for SharePoint, there's uh, different versions that you can download. Um, you can download the uh, enterprise version for free, but it's a 180-day trial. Or you can actually download and install uh, SharePoint, SharePoint Foundation, and it's actually free. So you can play around with some of the basic features and see if it works for you. I'll let Glenn speak to Sitecore. Yeah, from a, a Sitecore perspective, you would usually need to work with a partner or one of the Sitecore regional representatives to get access to a Sitecore trial. They do provide that, um, but that's on a case-by-case -case request. There's no free download or trial download available at the moment. Okay. All right. Well, I think that um, that is it for our time today. I want to thank you both for participating. Um, and uh, until next time, we'll uh, do another Google Hangout. Thanks, Megan. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.